the major set piece, action-wise and uh, effects-wise, visual effects-wise in the film is the this battle in the Angkor tomb with uh, all the stone statues and characters that come to life. Powell, the bad guy, activates this centuries-old mechanism which unleashes this mercurial life form uh, in the tomb, which wends its way towards these statues and systematically brings them all to life. The first ones that we encounter are these six foot four humanoid stone monkey characters. And I went to a great deal of effort to make sure that they look very plausible, very convincing, and that they look like they're actually in the environment. The shape was given by production because th that was part of the set and that was designed by, by production. From that, we had a, you know, perfect copy of the of the statues in, in digital world, but then the way they move was up to us. The next step consists of actually uh, putting skeleton bones in, in a creature. Once you've got a creature which is uh, able to move, just, just like an animatronic, really, you can pose it, animate it, light it, and render it, and it gets comp on, composited on the background when the stone characters came to life, and I felt very strongly that they should break and fissure and crack at the joints. They didn't actually have a rubberized feel about them. Rather than going at 100% CG route with all that, uh, I I'm, I'm made a great deal of effort to shoot real elements, dust and cobwebs, that would be later uh, superimposed on top of these characters. I think to make any shot successful, um, you've always got to sit the, the CG into the plate and then try and join the plate with it. And we shot lots of practical elements with uh, Steve Begg, the uh, effects supervisor. All of those elements have been used to blend the two images together. I had considered at one point that we have uh, stand-ins of stuntmen standing in wearing green costumes that would give uh, Lara and uh, you know, the other characters something to actually physically refer to. Um, but that actually would have limited the animation uh, approach that I had in mind. There's two, two situations really. There's uh, some situation where the actors are interacting closely with the monkeys. So we had um, a kind of stand with, uh, with some lights on it so the, the actor could look in the eyes of the monkey without having the monkey. And that was quite useful because, you know, straight away it makes it work. Went to a great deal of effort to make sure that this uh, looked totally believable. Yeah. 